I'm here today with uh, Bern and Penton from Ibs Cove on the Porty Grave Peninsula. Hello, Bern. Uh, good guys. Uh, first question I want to ask is, uh, what was it like to grow up in Ibs Cove when you were a young boy? Well, it was a very busy place. Uh, the, down in Ibs Cove, and especially around the wharf, when I grew up, there was no busier wharf around, because that's where all the fish most was landed and split and cleared away, as we called, split and, and salted. And, uh, well, there probably wouldn't be a week that I wasn't in the water, because I was always around, uh, around, uh, around the boats, around the water. I mean, the first time I threw the cast net, oh, very I was good. trod on the string, and when they brought up the way, I went out among the capelin. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I can remember Uncle Tom Penton, that was Les Penton's father. I would put, reach out, scone on all me. Here we <laughs> go. But there was a very busy place around Nibs Cove Wharf. And all around the Cove, of course, there was a, probably a, a 10 or a dozen, 10 or 12 fishing stages all around the Cove, right? And every one of them, the, the fish was split on them and it was very busy there. Because everybody salted their fish back then. Oh, back then, they were salted, and when there was too much fish, you put them in every salt salt, but, but mostly the fish were split and pickled in barrels. Oh, very good. And they draw it on the flakes, see, and boy, the women then were some busy, I don't know. Big families, and they said always when you had animals, you had to cut the grass, and was, my mother would say that there was never a dull moment. She worked hard. Yeah. And speaking of your mother, she used to have a grocery store at one time, didn't she? Yes, later, yes, she had a grocery store. Oh, I don't know how many was down there then. There was three, if not four, over in the road, over the pickle, as we call it. And on the other side of the cove, there was three over there, at least. Three, Uncle Ann Lee and Uncle Abe Lee and Uncle Chess Benton there. There was a grocery store on every corner then, Port of Grave. Very good. Yes, it was. And now you can't buy uh, as much as a can of pop. No. Uh, over there is, to your right from here, is Pick Eyes, and that's... Well, I want to get your name from the coal. So where we live, right down in the coal. That was called Pick Eyes Coal. Okay. See? So that, you lived over in Pick Eyes? Well, well, that's where the outfit store. Right. Right down where, over there where John Lair lives now, eh? Okay. Yeah. All right. On the edge of the cliff. Right, yeah. and when you went to school, did you go to? We went to school out here. Was that called St. Peter's? No, no. Uh, just it was called, it was, well, it was called it was old school then, but the name was changed in later years, it was called. Yes. But the school was still there, and it was a part of the heritage, part of the, you know. Right. A part of the Fishman's Museum, like, you know. Yes, which you will play a, yeah. a big part in. Yeah. Uh, you've been a boat builder all your life. Well, not all my life, I suppose, but the first boat we built, that I helped build, that's the year, we started out just the year before we got married. That's the first of the bounty boats, you know, we wanted a bigger boat, and the dad says, who's we going to get to build it? Well, I says, let's try her ourselves, you know. Okay. So from that on, I built a lot of boats after that, eh? And did your dad and grandfather Bill Boats? Uh, not really, because my grandfather, the, uh, my uncle Clarence had moved to Boston when he was 16 or 17 years old, he wasn't very old. He said, uh, his grandfather, that's my great grand, my grandfather, yes, that's right, his father, he said, he built one that was 27 feet long, and people tell now, he said, Uncle John, he said, She's too big, you're not going to be able to do nothing with her. There you go. And he listened to him and sold her before she went off the wharf. Oh, boy. Off the beach. Wicked. And he bought one 16 feet long. And my uncle, a clown, said, went to Boston. He says, Father, if this is what you're going to do, I'm going on to Boston. And that's what he done. And that's where he was at, and he had his business up there as a contractor, iron worker, you know. Right on. Yeah. Yeah. Big difference in the boats today, isn't it? Yes, that's right. <laughs> well, that's like down in Ibs Cove right now. Well, you wouldn't be able to get in there with the boats you got now. No. They're just out on the sky until the time the boats got bigger. Yeah. So then that's where we had to go up to Harbour and Port of Grave. Right? That's right, all open motorboats. Yeah, well, down there now, there wouldn't be enough water to get around the wharf there. Yeah. Now, like used to, eh? yeah. I remember you telling me a story about being out in the boat uh, as a young boy and something terrible happened. 
uh, was around New Year's. Would you mind sharing that uh, with us? No, I wasn't out in the boat that uh, time. That was Dad. Oh, oh okay. Uncle Leg down at Patton was fishing. See, Dad always, always taught, and I always had him say, the poor way to start off the New Year, not doing nothing. If the, without to come on a Sunday, Dad went to work on New Year's Day. You see, he always say that would be a poor way to start off. Oh, yes. Yeah, doing yes. nothing. Right. So yeah. at then there was no fisherman's unemployment or nothing like that. No. That came around first when the Diefenbaker was prime minister, right? Right. And Uncle Edgar Patton was fishing with, and they were down on Nola Ledge, we called down off of Bay Roberts Point. Yeah. Uh, coming up now, uh, well, you'd, you'd have t- t- turrets all went along. So they seen the t- tur till they was going to shoot the tur, and that and that's the dad slipped on the rail. Went on overboard, gone no, went wow. on overboard. Yeah. And the boat was steaming on, eight, eight, K, they were both steaming. Uncle Leg, they put her in reverse, and when he went back for Dad, Dad was gone underwater. Oh my. Yeah. Sorry, me. Yeah, that's and okay. Went down, that's okay. And Uncle Leg, they took the spread, what you'd have to open the mizzen. Yeah. And reached down, and Dad feel something against him, and that's how we got out in the old neck up. You yeah. Were just about gone. Yeah. I met him walking home that day, and he just first word he told me, he said, I just about drowned today. Yeah. 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 But, thank the good Lord. Now, that's before I really started fishing. Now, not before I'd be out in boat with him. Because no, no, no. I was only five and a half out in boat with grandfather. I died uh, on the way coming down from Squidden when he was that fishing right? that day and died coming down. He was, only, he was only 61 years old. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. And what was his name? His name was John. We all went in named John William. And oh, that's John that William. Out John name, William right? Patton. Yeah, that yeah. was his name. Right? He was only 61 then when he died. Yeah. Not, that's not old today anymore. No, know? it is not. Not now, it's not. Yeah. You're very involved with your church. And I know that you were honored for being uh, treasurer for 50 years. That's a, that's a while back now. Uh, tell us something about the very first Pentecostal church that was up by the side of the pond. I don't remember it. I know the, the one that's there now, but uh, there was a little church on the side of the That was the first one. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that was where he and got his house at there now, my, one of my grandsons. Right. There's a little sign by the side of the road there, a little plaque that yes. Norman Ralph put up there. Yeah. Years ago when right. he was with yeah. the museum and that. And that's where he was told, go along there now with all the but then the road wasn't as wide no. as it is now. And uh, that, that was, uh, now I don't remember when it was built, that was built before I was born, right? Yes, and but you did go was, to it? That was the first one, yeah. yeah. You did go to that church? Yeah, that's right. And what was it like in that church? Like? Well, uh, was it big or was it just... Uh, well, there'd be a big crowd there on yeah. Sunday morning and that now. And Sunday night to be a big crowd then. Yes. More people to go to church on a Sunday night now. Right. And, uh, well, yes, and all of the women wore a hat. Oh, yes, yeah. Wear, 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 wear a hat, you yeah. know, and that was it. And, uh, of course, the um, men just wear hats, but not in church, not eh? In church. I can remember when I grew up, we'd buy a hat, go to St. John's and... The Royal Stores, uh, Aaron and Sons, and boy, I built more hat most every fall. Oh, yes. A yeah. taxi when I grew up, right? That's right, yeah. But that, that, when that church just got out, out, outgrown, yeah. and then we built the other one that they had it upon, as what the building is there now, yes, but they uh, yes. haven't got uh, no. some, uh, what, no. you know, yours by Barry Seafold. That's right. And then in 87, I believe. Moved up on the old the church of there now. Yeah. That is the third church there now, eh? Yes. Yeah. 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 Quite a difference. Uh, quite and a and difference. just going back to the first church. Now, what did they use for eating that? Was that a potbelly stove? That was a potbelly stove in the middle of the store, and uh, whoever uh, there for a while be on for a week. Uh, so I don't know how long. Probably a month. Take their turn as a janitor, like you know. Yeah. And light the fire. They have coals in the locker, we call inside the door. Right. Uh, you, you know, I remember now the steps and the uh, key all in the door, old fashioned key. Oh, yeah. Well remembers it there. Right? Yeah. No washroom in any church no. be around then. I often wonder what some of the hold up people done, eh? They walk up over the hill when they had to go to a washroom. I don't know what a difference to that. No, that's eh? right. It yeah. wasn't even thought about then, a washroom in church then, eh? Oh, my jumping stuff. Yeah, times have changed. It's just yes. unbelievable. Yeah, it's, it's quite different. Uh, 
I can remember when I was a little girl, my mom taking me down to Ship Cove Pond for the water baptisms. That's right, yeah. That was it then, eh? Yeah. Yes, and to be a big crowd gathered around then. And while we're talking about the church there, because my m mother, she played the organ in that church for years. Oh, yeah. Until the late electronic yes. was a whole right. uh, football. Yeah. She always played the uh, organ there. Did she? That's what she done, eh? And I can yeah. would imagine was some pretty and good singing there. Oh every every old M she know, eh? Yes. She yeah. hardly wanted a book, every old M, you know, she know, right? Yep. And it's still the job to beat them them old M. You, you can't know. beat the whole M. That's right. Yeah. So there, we, there was a crowd like for the water baptism down at the... Oh, they'd be gathered right around, around yes. the foot of the pond yeah. and all that, that's right. Yeah. Well, one time I guess it was held in the salt water, you know. Oh, yeah. Now, in later years, when the, the second church was done, yeah. where we were building the baptism yes. tank in the back of the church. That's right. I helped to build the inn, I remember that. And up you in know. your new building now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, thanks very much for letting me come today. Yes, okay, and, uh, Joyce, but you've we'll, always been a good friend. We'll chat again. Yes, okay. Thank you.